Welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be a very short one, just about setting up allowed and disallowed VLANs on my old Catalyst switch. So before we start, I've reset the switch to its initial configuration and assigned it an IP address on my network. So I'll just plug it in. Just let it boot up and while it's booting we can open PuTTY and type in the address we assigned to it earlier. Yours will probably be different but mine's 192.168.1.130 and we're using Telnet to get into it. And there we go, we're up. So let's, let's connect. Just give it a minute to get registered on the network. There we go. And now if we restart session, we should get a connection. There we go. So just type in the uh, password I set up earlier. Right, so first we want to type enable. And then our password again. Then we want to type configure terminal. Then set up a VLAN quickly. So we'll, we'll go 5501. 501, 501 that'll do. Uh, exit out of there. Then we want to go on to interface configuration for our trunking port. So we'll do interface, let's go FA0 slash 6, because why not? <laughs> uh, switch port mode trunk to put it into trunking mode. On certain switches you will need to put, you will need to set the encapsulation to dot one q but I don't have to do that on here. So I'm just going to skip past that. Uh, then you'll want to do switch port trunk allowed VLAN remove and this will remove any any VLANs that are on there so let's just do 5 to 67 because why not uh, and then we will in fact let's do let's do 500 to 700 and then we want to do switch port trunk allowed VLAN add 501 then end then we can do show interfaces fa0 slash 6 trunk now this is going to do something a little bit surprising and this threw me off earlier when i was setting this up it says that there are no vlans allowed on the trunk and there and both of these are none as well now don't let this throw you off if you type show running dash config give it a second you will see that you are actually allowed these VLANs so 501 is allowed and of course the ranges we uh, removed earlier are not there so just exit out of there so the way you actually see if a device is allowed or disallowed using the other command is you have to plug something into it and this is what threw me off let's plug in that old dc 7800p from the last video let it switch on and connect to the switch so give it a moment just waiting for a green light still waiting for a green light it would help if i plugged it into the correct port wouldn't it <laughs> there we go it's gone green and as you can see if we type in that command again, now that we've got something connected, the status has changed to trunking rather than not trunking. And we have our allowed VLANs. That's all there is to this video, really. I hope it was helpful in some way. If it was, be sure to leave a like and subscribe because I'll be uploading a lot more content very soon. Mm -hmm.